Hey guys, I'm Ryan Raymond, and tonight I'm going to show you 10 designs or niches that you should not sell on, that you could be risking your account if you upload into these niches. And I find this is the most commonly asked question that I get asked by everyone um, who at least sends me a private message. Typically involves, can I upload this or why did my account get a rejection for this? So I went looking, found some really hot selling things that could be tempting for you to jump into and start selling, but could be risking your print on demand business. So let's jump in and take a look at these first ones right here. All right. So the very first one I have that is coming up and I saw this one uh, doing some searches you can see here it was listed on September 11th and it's got a BSR of 47,000 so it's selling a lot and they're listing it at $23.99 so that can be really tempting to jump in there for a lot of people but this is going to be a risk to your account and let me show you why. So we have Jaguar print shades for Uncle Rico, Mincho, and Duval t-shirt. All right, Duval County is where the Jacksonville Jaguars are. So there's a miss, they did a misspelling for J Saxonville apparel to avoid triggering um, trademarks and copyright around the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, football team. Uncle Rico is a fictional character in uh, Napoleon Dynamite, the movie, and the... Um, reference here is to the new quarterback in Jacksonville. So let's look at a couple of these right here. So oh, that's for a different one here. Let me get to the right ones. All right. So Jacksonville's Gardner Minshew is way more just like NFL's Uncle Rico. So one of the most memorable supporting characters of the early 2000s cinema is Napoleon Dynamite's Uncle Rico. The former high school football quarterback of Fields Glory was unfairly snatched away from him. So Uncle Rico was this character in a TV show that um, looks a lot like the uh, new quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So that's why this shirt is selling well. And whoever's selling it, I'll likely expect to see. They'll probably get their account terminated. And they're, I guess they're hoping they're going to get a quick check selling it at $24 a shirt. So wish you luck, whoever that one is. Um, sorry, Ashley. I, I don't know. Um, double check your settings and make sure that uh, you have it set for... Um, all notifications and you won't miss any of my videos. I don't, I don't know. Um, double check and make sure you have the bell turned on. That will help. Okay. So that's that shirt there and why you should stay away from that one. All right. Next one here. I, everyone is seeing this right now, the Crayola crayons. So let's look at the Crayola crayons right here. Um, the purple crayon box, Halloween costume, this idea here. And if you'll do a quick search, you might be able to discover that Crayola owns a trademark since 1985 for this swirl mark. So, yeah, you didn't say Crayola on there. You just said crayon, but you have the mark there. And I caught this tip with um, in the Merch Watchdogs group. So if you're not in the Merch Watchdogs group, I recommend you getting in there. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Ashley. Um, hey, Deb and Lynn. Glad to have you guys all here. And. 13 of you guys on there. Awesome. So anyway, these right here, this mark right here, this design mark has a registered trademark for the thing that you guys are attempting to infringe on. This is going to get you in trouble here eventually. And um, I would recommend not doing it. All right, let's look at the next listing here. Ohio Sports Forever Vintage Cleveland Columbus Fan Gift T-shirt. So this one's... Um, selling really well you can see a 66,000 bsr but let's look at this here the o has this orange and brown striping on it this h has an indian feather um the i has a sword going through it and the o looks oddly like ohio state university's colors um so yeah let's take a look the cleveland browns football team so look at their colors look at the first o that is clearly going after them the cleveland indians all right indians indian feather using their red c colors that they don't usually use the i is using the cleveland cavaliers um colors and symbols and is going to get them in trouble and then the ohio state university so it's using ohio sports themes to sell i would definitely say stay away from this one and good luck to whoever you are listing it just because it's selling on there and someone worked its way through doesn't mean it's safe guys 
um, do a little bit of searching. Now, there, you're going to see a lot of SpongeBob shirts on here, and I think people get tempted to try and do them, especially when they're targeting SpongeBob memes. Um, Nickelodeon is going all out on tackling their stuff. So make sure if you're seeing references to this and things like Disney, uh, SpongeBob, and many brands sell their stuff on Amazon, so we cannot infringe on their intellectual property. Um, and this goes on any other website too, guys. This is Shopify. This is any other print on demand platform. You just don't really have the rights to do it. Okay. So let me jump to the next listing. I said I had 10 of these. All right. The next one here, Mountaineers horns down forever. West Virginia Mountaineers, Texas horns down. Um, the, you don't have the right to use the West Virginia Mountaineers stuff I, I unless this is them and there is an official license but if the person didn't put anything in the bullets they just targeted some specific keywords they got the price boosted up they're selling well and they won't have an account very long um yeah actually the spongebob one i was showing specifically nickelodeon's listing because i think that was gonna hopefully make it more clear for people um all right so the next one here is bear costumes adult bear costumes bear care is written in a whole bunch of these um who are the care bears the care bears are a fictional cartoon that's been around since the 80s it is a massively popular recognizable brand with a very unique distinct style and by you guys just calling it adult bear and drawing their logos like a fuzzy bear it's gonna get you in trouble hey rita good to see you in there um thanks for jumping in chat and i uh, appreciate you guys chatting um, so let's look what else. Okay. The next one, this lowercase letter M, the reason the M is selling well is because if you do it in this serif font, it looks like an M and M, the M and M logo, clearly a specific designed M on a solid color. It's going to get you in trouble. You're, you're messing with big brands, especially with big brands. It's going to get you in trouble. Don't do it. All right, the next one on Dark Desert Highway. I keep seeing this one pop up quite a bit. Uh, Witch Riding Brooms, it's selling well for Halloween. But on a Dark Desert Highway is the one of the like, most recognizable lyrics from the Eagles for Hotel California. So come on, guys. You clearly don't own this. Um, that's going to be a problem you're going to have. Okay, the next one here are these fire sauce packets or hot sauce packets, fire, hot, and mild. These, I mean, taco costume, I'm sure they have Bell in there. The dogs and cats are getting upset about this one even. Um, taco Bell, they've been using this design style for their specific hot sauce pot packets forever. I, I can't believe that they haven't come down after these. I know some of these have been up since last year, just hasn't been noticed, I'm sure yet, and probably will get someone in trouble. Um, the next one here, I've seen some people talking about this one. Um, so look at this first one here, sponsored by shirt.woot. Woot is a website owned by Amazon that does sponsored competitions and um, things like that. So this design is based on the um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail movie. So it's it's a great, hilarious, funny movie, but this whole thing is based on a joke in that movie and Amazon is running sponsored ads against it. I mean, they're, they're the owners of it and they're selling it for the person who won the contest with their um, uh, rights to do it, but there's quite a few people coming in and doing different ripoffs and versions of it and the joke only makes sense if you've watched the movie and understand the movie so i would stay away from that one as well so just be careful if you guys are running through um merch by amazon uh, merch uh, merch informer like look at this one right here so i was just talking about um uh don't mess with disney so grumpy dwarf halloween costume t-shirt misfit matching halloween tees i guarantee you I mean, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, you might be able to get through some of it with it being public domain, but you're pretty much going after the likeness that Disney created and owns. I would just be extremely uh, cautious about that. So let's jump over into the chat here quick, and I just kind of want to talk to you guys and let you know the plan. So I want to 
um, make this kind of a weekly video series, just like the t-shirt listing reviews, but I think this will help a lot of people and people send me these questions all the time. So I made a form at ryanaraymond.com slash is it safe? If you go to ryanaraymond.com slash is it safe? There's a form you can submit a niche or a URL or a question about copyright. And if it's obvious to me that it's clearly something I can answer and say, yeah, this is probably not safe, I'm going to answer that. Now, I always recommend you should talk to a lawyer and make sure that you're getting your questions answered properly. But if it's something I can clearly answer, I'm going to try and do that. For the ones I can't, I'm going to figure out how to tell you guys my thoughts on it. Um, I'm never going to guarantee I'm right on all of these things. Once again, I am not a lawyer, but I think this can help a lot of people if we make this a weekly series and the community can help each other out as well. So let's take a look at the um, designs here. And I, I'm sitting over here talking to this camera and you guys are all just staring at the grumpy. So sorry about that. Uh, so let's look at the chat here. I have been seeing a lot of infringing trademark stuff and a lot of my um, tubers are making videos trying to protect you, but a lot of them are not listening. I, I, I'm just trying to help you guys. I hope this will help. Um, asked about Trump's face or likeness of him. While he's president is my understanding um, and an elected official, you should be okay on that. I don't really have um, a better answer on that. So the day he stops being president, he's going to be able to claim likeness back if he's no longer a public official. And you know, if you're making shirts that are making fun of Trump, he'll probably get those taken down. But I could see him doing something crazy, like encouraging the ones that praise him or something. Not that he's going to do that. I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. Um, let's see. So the other questions, uh, they got upset because they don't have the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Um, yeah. So there's lots of opportunities for trademarks, copyrights and issues that can come up. Um, so once again, go to ryanaraymond.com slash is it safe uh, and you can submit your listings there and I will try and review them once a week. We'll see if, how well this video does and maybe we'll make it a recurring thing. So I'll see you guys next time. And if you haven't yet watched this uh, video right here, it should be my most recent video. And this video right here should be the one that YouTube is recommending you watch next. Thank you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow.